All right, so today we are going to try and install Comfy UI version of a detailer, also called the Face Detailer by IT Doctor Data. This setup will be done on an RTX 50 series GPU, be it RTX 5070, 5070 Ti, 5080, or 5090 Blackwell cards using the Comfy UI setup with PyTorch 2.7 for CUDA 12.8. This setup of uh, custom nodes basically detects a face in an image and proceeds to upscale and resample the face to make it clearer. This is particularly useful for small size models such as Stable Diffusion 1.5 which tends to give distorted faces when you generate a full body image. So you will rely on face detailer to clean this up and fix the faces. Larger models like SDXL should be able to benefit from this setup as well and we will try this out later when I start to touch on those models. But before that, I will appreciate a like, comment and subscribe to help push this video to the right community that might find this uh, video useful to them. Face Detailer is uh, a part of the release package for Comfy UI Impact Pack where inside the package there are certain key nodes that you need to set up your face detailer workflow. The concept of face detailer is to introduce a picture into a detector where it detects a face before it masks the area, upscales it and redoes the distorted faces to make it look clearer. Even if it was initially generated as a very small image, so I hope this simple explanation helps you understand the concept of uh, face detailer better. With the intro to face detailer out of the way, we can move on to the installation process. First, you can go to GitHub repository page of the creator, ID Dr. Data, who is also the creator of Comfy UI Manager, which I have previously done a video on the installation of Comfy UI Manager, if you are interested to have a look where there are some key details you will need to take note of. But in order to use Face Detailer, you will also need something called the Ultralytic Detector, which is a separate installation under the Comfy UI Impact Subpack. Since the whole concept needs a Face Detailer to work, you will need to install both the Impact Pack and the Impact Subpack. I hope this explains well on why there are multiple installation requirements for this. First, let's go to Comfy UI Manager, search for the Impact Pack, and you should see the nodes created by IT Doctor Data. Click on Install and let it do its thing. Next, we move on to the Sub Pack and do the same. Click to install and you will be prompted to restart your Comfy UI. So a fair warning for what's going to happen next is for the uninitiated, uh, as these are all open source materials, there is always a risk of nodes containing malicious codes or harmful scripts installed on your system. So always exercise caution when installing any new nodes the most basic defense you can do for yourself is to always know what you are installing. If you are not familiar with most of the codes like me, then it's always best to look at a particular node's popularity first in the downloads or look at the star rating in the Comfy UI Manager for your basic level of defense. At least you will see that the more people were to look at it, uh, it would mean that it's less likely to have something malicious inside. But sometimes popular creators' accounts can get hacked and malicious codes can get released under their names for unsuspecting users to download, thinking that it is a new update. What I recommend is to always wait for a few days before trying out new updates because there will always be some online heroes out there that are more capable in testing the codes to see if it's good, bad or venomous. Allow the pros to have a look at them first for a few days and you should keep yourself updated on GitHub, Reddit or Hugging Face for any issues before you actually download and uh, try it yourself. Uh, and once you relaunch your Comfy UI, it should start to install the requirements. 
you will probably receive quite a bit of errors such as certain scripts that are not on the path, suppression of certain warnings, comfy UI model path environment variable not set, cannot import man mesnopy. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And uh, failure to install numpy or numpy. Some of these errors will be ignored by me as uh, it will make his own assumptions to fix the issues. Some of which I will definitely take note of. However, as the current setup still works, as you can see later, where Comfy UI will still be running as per usual, uh, I will just merely take note of it but will not fix it here and there. Uh, due to many unstable setups from the nightly version of PyTorch 2.6, 2.7 and whatnot, there will now I will expect some errors to 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 occur while I'm installing this uh, custom nodes, and also at the same time I will expect that the errors might be removed when a new stable version were to. Uh, appear and support is rendered for RTX with this GPU when it is being released. So as long as it works, I shall just take note of the error and I will ignore it for now. It might not be the best way to deal with things, but at least it works for now. Once you've restarted the Comfy UI and launched it, you can begin setting up your face detailer. For ease of understanding, I shall not create a complicated setup to demonstrate the face detailer. Instead, I will just use the default generation workflow to link it up to the face detailer. This way it is to make sure that you can understand how it's connected and set up. Thus, you can expect to see a bad generation result since there is very little optimization and the prompts that I use will be as simple as possible for a clearer understanding. So with that part as a disclaimer out of the way, uh, let's begin the setup officially. First, you will search for a to basic pipe node and begin collecting the basic setup to this pipe, which serves as a link to the face detailer. Next, search for the node detailer debug sex pipe which will be connected to the basic pipe. Next is the SAM loader node, it, where it uses a segment editing model to detect a face in an image for detailing. It is connected to a simple detector sex node where you can or rather you are able to adjust the threshold of the detection, whether you want the detection to only detect bigger pixels uh, to detect smaller faces in the crowd or to prevent any false positive detection of faces in order to make your detailing as specific as you want. This is the node that will allow you to adjust those settings. The generated image will go to the detector so that it can do its work using the SAM detector. Next, you will search for a sex filter ordered node and connect it to the simple detector sex node. This allows you to select how many faces you wish to detail and from which order they are detailed. Next, you will search for a ultralytics detector provider, which is under the impact sub pack which you have installed earlier. This is the bounding box or B box detector that tells the simple detector whether you want to detect only the face the hand specifically or a whole person in general. Connect the sex filter order nodes to the detailer debug pipe that will do the job of the actual detailing. Finally, link the generated image to the detailer debug sex pipe node so that it will link the detected face back to the original image for you. Type in the prompt and we will see what happens. Take note that I've kept most of the settings as default as this walkthrough is about installation and setup of the nodes and not about the setting to make stunning images. I will go into that in a future walkthrough after I've done my own tweakings. There you have it, 
a before and after comparison of the face being fixed. I do not use any image comparison nodes just for info as I try to take on a minimalist approach without any cluttering of nodes. Since I'm fine with this uh, caveman style of comparison, uh, or, but you can try to use image comparison nodes uh, at your own convenience if you wish to. So with that, I will end today's walkthrough and I'll be moving on to the setup of other critical nodes that I use for stable diffusion. So remember to like, comment and subscribe to help push this video to the right community that might find this useful to them. And until then, I will see you when I see you.